I'm always trying to find different ways to flow because that's such a big part of worship and not getting in the way of the vocal, but creating an atmosphere that's unique, creating emotion in the room. There are so many different brands and types of amps out there, but there's really three main types. The goal is just to make it sound as full plus articulate yeah. as possible. In a lot of flow moments in worship, I'm always trying to find things that don't get in the way, that's not too distracting, but it's ambient and it's not just swelling. I'm always trying to challenge myself to play a part mm -hmm. more than just doing atmospheric stuff. Tuning is probably yeah. the most important thing that we can talk about. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But it's pretty simple. It's just like, make sure your guitar's in tune. Yep. Just trust yours. If it sounds good, it sounds good. And if it sounds bad, yeah. fix it. Some people will always tell you you're, you have too much effect and it's too loud. But a lot of the parts that, especially in modern music today, the, the delay level is actually almost as equal to the note you're playing. Matt and I are gonna show you a couple parts um, from songs that we play on the road. So I really like fuzz. I get to use it with Matt Marr, a decent amount with like slide. We all approach things differently. There's no right or wrong to this. 